What's up, everyone? It's Warren. And it's Chris. Dune. Dune trailer. That too. It's here. We've been waiting for it. It was a massive three minute long trailer. Yeah, it's like the official trailer. We've talked about teasers. We talked about them yesterday. This is the real trailer. They did a teaser trailer in the premiere for Tenet, which we saw. And then they did that brief little teaser yesterday. But this is the official full trailer. All right, let's jump in. Boom. Do you often dream things that happen just as you dream them? So this was the yes. teaser we saw. Right. The test is simple. That's a teaser. Remove your hand from the box. And you die. Or it's in the box. Pain. You inherit too much power. You have proven you can rule yourself. Yeah. Now you must learn to rule others. Something none of your ancestors learned. <laughs> My father rules an entire planet. He's losing it. I love her. He's getting a richer one. He'll lose that one too. Oh. Awesome. Hey, Aquaman. Arrakis is a death trap. This is an extermination. They're picking my family off one by one. Let's fight like demons. Olivia's role. Right. An Sword animal master. caught in a trap will gnaw off its own leg to escape. What will you do? I know you. One day, the legend will be born. Dang! All of civilization depends on it. That's a sandworm. The future, I can see it. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. My Lord Duke. Where the fear is gone, only I will remain. Oh, sandworms! There are the sandworms for sure. Go, go, go! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's so bad. <laughs> the original movie. Holy crap! Oh, <laughs> that's pretty dope. Wow, that's, it's so funny watching the original Dune movie and watching the sandworm because like, I mean, obviously back then the technology, they didn't have any of the technology. Mm -hmm. So, but that's, that's funny. So, <laughs> right off the bat, it does have a very Star Wars feel because believe whatever you want to believe, they say kind of Star Wars kind of ripped off Dune, but Star Wars was a really popular one. Um, not saying that's true, but believe whatever you want to believe. But this has a very big Star Wars-esque feel. Mm -hmm to it but visually this movie probably going to be pretty amazing oh the cinematography for yeah. this movie is going to be just a game changer something that i felt while i was watching it and i think a point that everybody needs to realize if you've seen dune the, or you read the books, the books yeah. you know what's going to happen but there are a lot of people we're generations into the future now who don't even know what dune is oh right so this is going to be a really yeah. exciting movie for people who know everything about Dune, right. down to like the deep lore stuff, mm -hmm. because it's a really good reimagination of it. Right. But also for and people who don't know anything about it. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people who don't. Like, I've talked to a whole bunch of people, like, oh, the Dune trailer's coming, like, what the heck is Dune? Right. A lot of people have been like, I don't understand the hype around Dune. Well, the books are amazing. The original movie was pretty good. I mean, it was amazing. But, I mean, just look at the cast alone. 
Uh, it's <laughs> <laughs> what a moment. As every cast character pops up, they're not, you know, Jason Momoa. It's Aquaman. Right. <laughs> you, you call it's them all out Drax, by who they are. <laughs> it's Aquaman. Thanos, Drax, Aquaman. MJ. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it is an incredible cast that I think is really going to complement each other. And it's just, every single time you see a new character, it's going to be exciting for right. avid movie fans who know these characters and right. love to see them on the screen. So that'll be a really cool collaboration of all of them as well. And I think they, like, the pr particular roles they chose them for were pretty perfect. Like, mm -hmm. Drax is the big warrior that's going to but Jason Momoa is the sword master and it's just like Rebecca Ferguson. They're all like the perfect parts mm -hmm. like for the roles. Yeah. So one other interesting point about this movie specifically is the original brushed over a lot of details because they did or rather they're doing for this one a two part movie for the right. first book. Right, right. So we're gonna get a lot of details. So Re Rebecca Ferguson's playing his mom. Mm -hmm. And in the book she's a huge part of that because she's like put in there to build this type of political so his story doesn't even technically start for forever and the trailer really kind of does highlight him learning about the awakening and his powers right. and, and the worms and all that stuff that he comes into play with. But by the time this movie ends I think he'll only have just figured out just his powers. Figure it out and then it's like and then that's the next movie one. is going to be, hey, right. so right. that's going to be exciting because we're going to get a lot more details that we didn't get in the first one, coupled with the cinematography and the actors and so right. many different and things. And it's always good when you do that because there's there's so much in a book, there's so much description, there's so much detail that you just can't do in a movie. Mm -hmm. So the fact that they're actually going to do a two-part movie to try and get as much as they can in there is going to make it all the more better. Yeah, it's definitely going to bring a lot of exciting details that were missed because, again, there's a lot of people who have seen the movie. Right. But haven't read the books. Or read the books. And, well, so, I'm sure if you read the books. So there's a lot of those <laughs> details that are going to be added in that's really going to build and bring an exciting role. But just from the trailer, from what they've shown, the way they've marketed it is really yeah. exciting. And yeah. I'm really excited to see this reimagination of this movie. And the details, yeah. the cinematography, the colors, the soundtrack was awesome. It's yeah. all little Sets points. The tone very, very, very well. Exactly, exactly. Everything's going on. So if you didn't know what Doom was about up until now, just based off of the trailer, <laughs> What do you think about it? Is this something that you'd be interested in? And for those of you who are Doom fans, what did you think about the trailer? What did you think about the reimagining of it? What did you think about the cast? Everything. Yeah, of course, let us let know in the think. comments down below. We love interacting and chatting with you guys. That's why we do this. Yep. Thank you so much to everybody who watched till the very end of the video. If you enjoyed it, found it useful, helpful, entertaining, go ahead and hit that Smash. like and subscribe button. We're covering all these movie channels. We're going to do reactions, get on camera a lot more. We love interacting with you guys so much. But thank you so much. This is Ben, Cosmic, Cosmic Culture. Cult.